My daughter and I made three very easy, very cheap crafts for Valentine's Day decorations that I found on Pinterest and the individual links for the pins I will put in the YouTube description. This month's Pinterest challenge, Amy said to find anything Valentine's Day related. And if you want to see the rest of the ladies that participated in this collab, the playlist link will be in the description and I'll try to have it pop up somewhere here. We made a banner of hearts to hang across the window out of coffee filters. We made some paper hearts to hang on our railing and we made a heart wreath to hang on our door. For the coffee filter heart banner, you're going to need some round coffee filters, washable markers, a spritz bottle, some yarn, and some scissors. So you just color on the coffee filter however you want. You spritz it with the water and set it aside to dry. The markers will become like a watercolor effect as the water dries. After it is dried, cut it into a heart shape and then take a hole punch, punch two holes across the top of the heart to thread the yarn through. After you thread the hearts on the yarn, you have a pretty Valentine's Day banner that can be hung wherever you want. You can vary the sizes of your hearts or even the shapes of the coffee filters on your banner. For the paper strip hearts, I used a paper cutter, stapler, different colors of paper, and one is cardstock, and some scissors. So we have our two big long ones. These are about an inch wide, and then your next ones have to be about an inch shorter, and the next one's roughly an inch shorter. So you have six, and then we're going to stack them in this order. And... Next, we staple the bottom together. That went all the way through really nice. And then we, can we staple yours? Okay. Did it go the whole way through? No. And then you just, you take down around and hold the bottom. Mm -hmm. hold, and then the next one. So we're lining up the edges down here. And once we get these lined up, staple this, and voila! We have a heart. Mm -hmm. You can let your creativity run wild and have fun with these hearts. You can change colors, change the widths of the paper, change the amounts of hearts you have within each other, the lengths of them. Be creative and have fun. We decided to hang them from our banister, but I'm sure you could find lots of places to hang them, including from your chandelier. I don't have double-sided craft paper, so I'm putting two together. This was 12 by 12, and I'm going to go ahead and cut one-inch strips and fasten them together into a hearts. <coughs> As you can see, I have the two strips put together. They the pin had a double-sided paper, but I don't have that. They also used a lot of glue dots, which I'm going with the stapler again because I had it. So as you saw, I just I folded it in half and stapled it a little bit. That's going to give the middle. So then when I wrap this around and staple this side, I have a heart. And that's going to go in to make my decoration. And again, they had glue dots to glue here. I'm going to try and just put a little bit of white school glue. That's what we have. And just try to fasten. 
The glue did hold the hearts together, but it just felt a little bit flimsy to me and I was worried about it coming apart. So I got some thread and went through the bottoms of the hearts and tied it together as you can see. It's a white thin thread and it goes down into the paper. You can't really see it, but it really tightened up the center of the wreath. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want to see the pins I got these from, or if you want to check out the other Valentine's Day Pinterest challenges, the links are all in the YouTube description. Please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comments are always appreciated. Bye for now.